Hey, welcome back. This is part two of a three-part series. Um, first part, I showed how to diagnose the um, gas valve. Second part, I'm showing how to replace it. And the third part, I'm going to be um, just pretty much testing the static pressure. So, um, yeah, enjoy. Thanks for watching. All right. So I'm back here to change that gas sensor. Let me take a look and see what the status is on it now. Water menu, EBB position, cold temperature 50, gas 126. So still way off. What can I go ahead and do? Over here. And this feels me to having it way too restricted for this air handler. I hear it screaming. there's nothing on the surface so I'm gonna do is clean that surface off some copper I'm in some of this too high. Goes down through here. some of this insulated tape. She wraps around that. Take our electrical tape. To give it a nice true reading there. This 
so much for that. I could potentially go wrong with these things. But Another thing I like about this monitor menu, you can see, well, as you can see now, the um, electronic expansion valve is stepped down. It's about 50% open now, 276 steps. Um, cool temperature, it's 37 degrees right now. Just been running for about five minutes so far. Gas temperature, 59. So now you can see before that was reading like 126. Yeah. That's pretty much it. How to replace a sensor for train 10-9. Hyperion air handler. Well, other than that, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Alright, bye now.